Hello everybody, welcome. It is Thursday night. I am Dawn. This is Wreath Decor by Dawn. Come on in, say hello. We are going to make an elf, elf wreath. Um, I set that over there to the side. We are going to do this on a pine wreath base. I have a 20 inch pine, Canadian pine. We're going to use that. I'll show you what we're doing with this here in a second. So I have a bunch of different greenery here that we're going to use a little bit of everything. Most of it is this uh, flocked with the candy and the uh, berries on it. Um, oh, we've got a bunch of picks here. I've got a bunch of ball picks. I've got um, all kinds of candy picks and that down in here. So we're going to use a little bit of it, um, all of it. Not quite all of it, but a little bit of all of it. Because I'm not using a sign and there is no mesh on this. Hello everyone. Um, I don't want my center to be open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of garland I had left over from when I did the mailbox swag um, and I'm going to zip tie that onto the back of the frame so that it covers up the opening. So we're going to, it's got two rings on it. I'm going to use the inside ring and I'm just going to zip tie it down with a green zip tie. Let me get my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing here. Alright, I'm going to take these two ties right here and I'm going to go up underneath the frame and then I'm going to twist them together. Even though I got that zip tie on there, this will just help just in case. So there's that. And then I'm going to take this section here and I'm going to see where I need to cut it. So again, all this is is a leftover piece of garland that I had that I used on another project. It right there let me cut it one up that way I have extra hanging over so it's real simple just to cut that off and then that's gonna go onto the other side right here grab that frame get another zip tie I can find the frame here this is the thicker part of the pine, so of course, can't get in there. Alright, I'm going to come across this way, pull this down, and I want to make sure that I have at least two of the ties hanging over. And I'm just using small, like five inch, um, green zip ties. And I want to make sure to twist those around to the back side so they don't scratch anything or anyone. And then again I'm going to take these ties and I'm going to weave it in underneath the frame and then I'm going to twist them together. Alright, so there's a tie and there's a tie. We're gonna. So again, if you just joined, we're using a 20 inch wreath frame. And this one's got the crossbar right here, so we're gonna use that to help us. I am filling this in with some leftover um, garland that I had so that I can fill my center in. Alright, I need my pliers. Does not want to give it to me. There it goes. So I'm just filling this in because I want my center to be filled. Um, I don't have, I'm not using mesh tonight. So we're just doing greenery. So I want a nice full wreath. And the ties that are on here, the pine on here is not enough to fill in the center. So I'm just using what I have left over from my um, mailbox garland that we did. All right, I'm going to take these, and I was going to do this before him, but I thought, no, you'd like to see it, so. So I don't need all of this, so I can cut some of this off and use it for another project. So I'm going to cut right here where there's a gap. So this leaves me a little piece I can use that for something else, I'm sure. And that's also going to make this nice and full on the back. They're not even going to be able to tell that I used a garland to fill this in. It's just not going to be noticeable. It all will blend in together. 
All right, there we go. So if you look, it just looks like three. So now we can fluff this up so it's going to be all filled in. All right, so here's our wreath attachment. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put our little hat on. I'm going to flatten this a little bit right here only because I don't want it sticking up too high. We may not even need that tie on there. So the bow's going to go in the center. And if you don't want to use these wires, just pull them out and put your own in. I do that sometimes too because sometimes these wires can be a little thick. Alright, so we're going to go right in here. Now this one comes with the ears on the side. All right, so let's see where we got right here. I'm gonna go around this frame right here. I want to make sure I have one wire on each side of the frame, and I'm just gonna temporarily twist it and then fold these up so that they don't keep stabbing me. And I'll do the same on this side. Making sure that my wire goes um, one piece on each side of the frame. There we go. Now this is a 20 inch, just in case I don't sell it at my show, I want to keep in mind I'm going to have to ship this. So I want to make sure when I attach this stuff that it will fit in my box or it can be manipulated to where it can fit in my box. I don't think we need this one up here. Alright, now we're going to put our legs on. Now the legs, I want it to kind of go, it's not going to be straight up and down. The, the, the elf is going to be kind of crooked, cockeyed, however you want to call it. So he's going to be kind of at an angle. So I want one leg to come in kind of straight out and the other one's going to be kind of kicking up. Okay. Let's get this in here. So there's his hat. Let's get this in here. And I'm going to weave it in there. Right there. Like that. Alright. So we're going to tighten this a little bit. And I will go back later. I'm just going to tuck those in so they don't stab me. So that one, this is going to go that way, I twist this on here once, wire cutters. take two ties to hold his leg in place. There we go. Alright, doesn't look like much right now, but that's what it's going to look like. It's kind of going to go crooked though. But i got to fix this one. This one doesn't want to cooperate with me. There. That one there. Okay. Now we can go ahead and start putting in our goodies. This way, there we go. All right, now we're ready. Rock and rolling. So, what are y'all doing this weekend? All right, we're gonna use. That's one open already. There it is. We're gonna use some of this. It's just a. Um, let me see what they call it. It's called a greenery with red berries. Easy enough. 
And then we're going to use this one with the candies and the red berries. And, uh, all right, so I'm just going to take these and I'm dipping them in my glue pot here. I cut the stems down and we're just going to glue them in. Everything glues really well to these pine wreaths. Sorry, my ear itches. I think I've probably got a piece of glitter in it or something. So there's six of these. We're going to spread these out. And if we need more, I have extras. You don't need a whole lot of stem on it. Again, this is a 20 inch pine, Canadian pine wreath base. Making sure. All right. So now we're going to take this. Let me see. I might need to. I might need to cut these down a little bit more. I don't know. Let's cut it down a little more and see what happens. There we go. That might be better. Yours is up. Is anyone else having a trouble hearing me? I mean, I'm a pretty loud person as it is, so I can't imagine anybody having trouble hearing me. some in the center just in case let's go ahead and make our bow real quick and then we'll finish filling that in because I've got um, other goodies over here to put in too all right let's see if we can move this out of the way so you can see all right so these are the ribbons that I am using we're using a combination of the red and green and some black Alright, so this one is a 4 inch that I just got, and it's got black velvet, and then a check pattern on the sides. We're not going to use a lot of it, just enough to do um, one loop. So I want about a about 12 or so inch tail let me get rid of some of this glitter here so you guys can see the bow here. This one is going to be about six inches. It, it's this beautiful ribbon. I just got it from Sims. They had one roll left. I ordered two, but I only got one. And it was in their new section, so. Right there. It is very pretty. It even feels very elegant. All right, we're gonna do there. We go. We'll save that one. It's very pretty. 
Very, very pretty. See that? It's got the black velvet in the center. And then the check pattern on the outside. Oh, that did not work well. Let's try that one more time. There, now it's straight. Can't put it there. Look at that. So that's going to go in the center. We're going to alternate it with our green elf. You know what that means. <laughs> I had left over on a roll. <laughs> This one will do a little bit shorter. Alright, this is going to be five and a half inch. Once we get the bow on, it'll go a little quicker too because then I can, then I know where I can put everything. Do I want two or four? Let's do two on each side. Why not? Yep, you can get my supply list, which has everything from my scissors to my mat to my ribbon racks, my lights, camera, action, all my goodies. I put them on a little list, and you can get the list with clickable links to go and find all the good stuff that I have. I'm not going to worry about which direction my elves are going right now. I'll use that one for something eventually. Wish I'd have gotten more of this ribbon. I wish I'd have gotten some to put in my shop. I had a couple people ask me if I sold any of that, but I didn't um, buy enough to put in my shop. Alright, the next one, we're going to use the black and white stripe, which matches his legs and his hat. This is another nice one. Very thick. This one I got from plywreathsigns.com and this one we're just doing one loop on each side. And it's going to be about five inches. with. Yep, plyresigns.com had this one here. She sells wreath signs and ribbon and attachments. This is a one and a half. All right, 
right, now we're going to use this diamond black and white. All right, our last one is this foil green and red stripe. And we're going to do, um, let's see, what do I want to do? Uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I think we're just going to do one loop on each side and then do a center loop. I think. Yeah. And maybe we won't do a center loop because I can always put one of the um, balls or one of those things in it. And get my loop the same here. Let's go up with this one. Go. That one's a pretty one too. Alright, I'm going to get one of my long zip ties. We're going to go up underneath all of this. Make sure we get it all in there. Hopefully. that tight so that I can pull this off here. I'm going to grab one side of my bow, get all that ribbon in there, and then I'm going to take my zip tie and bring it around. Whoops. Right there. Give it a little bit of a tighten. Make sure everything stays in place. Get in there. And then I'm going to use is this one going to be long enough? Yeah, it should be. This one should be long, plenty long enough. Because remember, it's going into that garland that I added to the center. So it doesn't have to go so deep. Alright, so now I'm going to fluff this out. I haven't tightened it down all the way because I want to make sure everything is where I want it before I do that. tighten there so I can maneuver things around. So yeah. Alright, so now where I put that garland right in the center, I'm going to grab that and that's where the bow's going. And I probably should have used the longer zip tie just to make it easier on myself. There we go. I mean, it's going around it. It's not a problem, but it would have been nice to have a little extra. There we go. Now we're going to smush that fabulous bow that we just fluffed out. There we go. And then I want my loops and my tail's coming out this way a little bit more. Because remember, he's kicking up from the side. He's not right down in the middle. So I need his legs over here. And then we'll go back and we will dovetail all of these. There, like that. Perfect. I like it. I like it a lot. There we go. So yeah, so this one should be going up here. 
and then this one is just hanging down. So I can always take and put more ties right here and um, underneath it and then wrap some wire around it or go through the back. The zip tie tool, I got that on Amazon. It's in my tool supply list. Or no, I take that back. I got it at Harbor Freight, but I do have one on my list. I just happened to be at Harbor Freight and saw it one time, and that's where I picked it up at. But I do have it on my, my list. All right, there we go. Now we can see that pretty ribbon. It's not hidden. Yeah, you can get it on Amazon. It's on, like I said, it's on my list. Alright, there we go. Let's finish putting our goodies in. We'll put some more of this greenery in. And then we'll add some of our um, berries and balls. Where's Z when we need her, right? Alright, this one is going to go down here. I guess i got to add more glue. Just added some the other day. Go through a lot this time of year. I want some around his head here. Oh, I probably could have taken that off. But we'll leave it. way too much glue. That's what I get for not paying attention. Going up underneath his hat, putting this in. Get that candy out there so it can be seen. And I will take a lint roller and go over his hat and everything. Alright, let's add in some other stuff here. I've got two of these picks left we can add in if we need some more. But let's see what else we've got. Alright, so we've got some glittered balls. Got this little thing here, but I think I'm going to save that. I have that one. So we have all these little candies, so I'm going to use some of these. One, two, three. might use those too. And then we've got some of these little curlies. Two of those. Oh, they brought three. One, two. I'm looking to see what else I have in here. And I have these Alright, so let's see. I'm going to put some of these in first. Then we'll put the candies in. Then we will add these balls. Alright, I like these. These are the ones that I only got three of. I wish I'd have gotten more. Don't know why I only got three of them. Susan said, do you want some? I said, yeah. She said, how many? I said, just grab me three of them. <laughs> Didn't think that one through. Oh, well. Okay. Add some white here. Let me look at this really quick before I glue it in. Should get my little stand out. Now we're going to 
get that one right there. this out of the way and we're going to put one right here. No, it's not in between his legs. So we're good there. I learned my lesson. I don't put them between his legs. This last one over here on this side. <laughs> hey, Rhea. Candies in here. Definitely don't need this that long. I think I'm going to put this one up here in the bowl. I think I am. This one's going in my bowl. But yes, I will thank him for you. All right, let's do these. This one's going to go over here. We're almost done, guys. Like I said, I had a lot of stuff pulled out, but not all of it was going to be used. We know that. We just like to have a lot. And I can always add more later. I'll, I'll look for holes in that, of course. Bend this at the bottom. Just gives a little loop for it to hold on to. That way it gets in there. And grabs onto that greenery. Come on. This one's going to go over here. And that one's in there. Whoops, don't drop it in the glue. Right there. Alright, so there we go. Let's see, we want it to go which way? This way. Yeah, this way. I'll fix his legs there in a little bit. I'll have to fix his legs again because I want this leg coming up. So there we go. I'm going to fill in. I see a couple holes. There's one here that I can take this one and fill in. Oops. You know what? I 
I should have used the other one. I'll get the other one. I'll get the other pieces. Anyway, I'll fill in those holes there around the bow so that that all blends in. But what do you think? Not a real expensive one to make. I mean, the most expensive thing was my wreath attachment and my, my frame, really. Um... And then you just have a bow and a bunch of greenery in here. Greenery picks. So I will fix that so that it's going the right direction. <laughs> you never know. Alright guys, have a great night. Be kind to one another and I'll see you next week.